of new details now on the coronavirus pandemic. The Missouri Attorney General is suing school districts that currently rely on mask mandates. KNBC 9's Haley Harrison tells us several districts are in the Kansas City area. And Kelly, the uh, districts include Kansas City, North Kansas City, Park Hill, Liberty, Lee Summit, Raytown, and more. Attorney General Eric Schmidt says a recent court ruling makes all health orders on masks null and void. He says that the districts don't have the authority to impose mandates on children. Kansas City Mayor Quinton Lucas responded today saying we will support our schools, our teachers and our students. He also called the lawsuits a political stunt. Eric Schmidt is running for Missouri's U.S. Senate seat. School districts on both sides of the state line are struggling to stay open. Belton is the latest district to close schools because it doesn't have enough staff to keep the buildings open. KMBC 9's Rebecca Gannon tells us the pattern could last for the next month. I think we made 375 phone calls and we talked to 10 people. <laughs> Wait, so. you made 375 phone calls and you talked to 10 people? And that, in a nutshell, shows you why so many students across so many school districts have stayed home in just the last two weeks. There just aren't enough adults in the classroom. We're probably 50% more needs from our schools right now than we were a month ago. And, and so, yeah. And that's that, that's the that's the jarring thing that, that I think we're facing right now. Keith Elliott works with Kelly Educational Services, which helps recruit and train substitutes for almost every large school district on the Missouri side of the state line and Shawnee Mission Schools, too. He said he can only fill 70 percent of the substitute requests. It's not happening in just one part of the state. It's happening statewide. Almost 90 districts across Missouri closed schools in January because they were short staffed. In Kansas, almost 50 districts closed in January. And if a building has to shut down or a district district has to shut down just to keep people safe, then that's what we need to do. So be prepared. The next time students walk out of class, it may be for longer than a weekend. Rebecca Gannon, KNBC 9 News. Olathe the schools had an extended holiday weekend due to 800 staff members being absent. The district says its numbers do look much better following the break, but that it still is in need of substitutes. Kansas keeps track of COVID cases in each school district, and here's where we stand. In Wyandotte County, in both Bonner Springs and Piper schools, more than 40 out of every 1,000 students is out with coronavirus. In Johnson County, in Blue Valley, Olathe, Shawnee Mission, and DeSoto, more than 30 out of every 1,000 students has COVID.